Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about Alaska Rabbit. Environment and Housing Most experts of rabbit care advocate that Alaska rabbits must live inside the house, instead of living outdoors in a hutch. Not only with this ensures that these rabbits will be protected against severe weather conditions, but this will also make your pet bunny feel that they are indeed a member of your family because of better social interaction. There are many options for housing a pet Alaska rabbit, which include bunny-proofed rooms, rabbit cages, rabbit condos, and puppy pens. These are the advantages of each option. Living in a rabbit-proofed room If you want your rabbits to be allowed free reign, they can be kept inside an unused room like an office or a guest bedroom. You just have to place a litter box in one corner of the room, besides their hay feeder box and food or water dishes. It would largely help to use a chair mat so that there will be something to catch any accidents or spills. This living condition will allow your pet Alaska rabbit the freedom of exploring their environment at their own pace or running if they ever desire to. Puppy Pens If you want your Alaska rabbit to have the illusion of freedom while still making sure that they are secure, you can go for puppy pens. These cages can be bought from most pet stores and other online retail sites. Puppy pens are perfectly large enough to store all essentials for the Alaska rabbit, and these pens can also be moved when needed if in case you want to transfer them to a different room. Should you be concerned about carpet or flooring in the room, you can use chair mats, old rugs, or linoleum at the bottom of the puppy pen. Just make sure that the rabbits will not play and chew on these materials because it can cause a blockage. Owners should also keep the edges of these materials out of reach of the Alaska rabbits so that they can limit this behavior. Puppy pens do not have top covers on them, so the owners must look for ones with a considerable height, at about 36 inches, so that the Alaska rabbits cannot jump over them. Puppy pens are also a great option if you want to train your rabbit with responsibility before transitioning their living conditions into free reign in a room. A puppy pen will limit their space in the beginning but will eventually allow them to be accustomed to the location of the food in the section you allow for them. Bunny Condos If you love DIY and designing small living spaces, the sky is the limit in building bunny condos. Owners can use metal, wood, repurposed furniture, and other materials to build a bunny condominium. One thing to note is never to use chicken wire as a building material because these wires can be chewed on and destroyed by Alaska rabbits. Moreover, if you decide to build with metal, the spaces must be close enough that the head of the rabbit will not fit through. If not, the Alaska rabbits may get strangled or injured. The easiest way to create bunny condos is by using wire storage cubes. These organization cubes can be brought in retail stores, even online. These can also be customized into different arrangements. Although creating them like a bunny condo can be time-consuming, this is an inexpensive option and can also be an entertaining home choice or an inexpensive option. Rabbit Cages Out of all the housing options, rabbit cages are the least spacious. So, if you decide to house your bunny inside a large cage, make sure that you still give them enough time outside the cage for at least a few hours a day. There are many options for cage design but requires a few basics for the overall well-being of the rabbit. The cage that you will choose must be large enough to accommodate your Alaska rabbit because bigger is better for this case. The rabbit must have space to move around and lie down, as well as space to store food, toys, water, and litter box. Never use glass aquariums for rabbits because air circulation is better using metal cages. If you can, it would be best to provide them a cage with a front door so that they can go in and out on their own. Availability If you want to own an Alaska rabbit, there are things to consider before you take their lives into your hands. First, do some research on the breed and observe if you can provide them with the care that they need. Do not solely decide on their appearance alone, but also look at your availability to care for it, as well as the known temperament of this breed. You can get an Alaska rabbit from an actual rabbit breeder. If you can, request for a few hours or a day with the rabbit at the breeder so that you can have a feel of how they are and observe their behavior. A good breeder is helpful in answering questions and educating you about the breed. It would be perfect if you can also acquire a health guarantee from the breeder. If they are not open in communication or if you notice that their area is unclean, you should not push through with your transaction. The Alaska rabbits that you might acquire are most probably untamed, haven't been handled well, or sick. Taking care of Alaska rabbit Before you get an Alaska rabbit to care for, you should be aware of the important care requirements. Owners can opt for keeping the Alaska rabbits inside or outside the house, depending on the climate conditions in your residence. Just ensure that you will provide the rabbits with a secure living enclosure where they will be also enjoying the sunshine while feeling safe at the same time. Even though the pet might have a place where they can sunbathe, it is still important to provide Alaska rabbits with a shady spot where they can retreat should they choose to rest and sleep. 
If they stay outdoors, they must have a hutch that is both waterproof and weatherproof. For enclosures placed outside, sawdust would serve as a perfect substrate option. On the other hand, if the Alaska rabbit will continue to stay indoors, owners should provide them a spacious housing option, where they can rest undisturbed and live their lives in peace. A cage that is the size of a regular dog crate would be more than enough. If you have other animals, these rabbits must be introduced to your other pets while they are young for better familiarity. Additionally, since you will occasionally let out these rabbits, you should make sure the area will stay rabbit-proof so that there will be no chances for this rabbit to chew on things that are toxic to him or her. It would also eliminate the chance for them to chew on important documents, cables, and wires. Pet stores can also be a source for an Alaska rabbit, but these are more expensive than getting from breeders. Just be careful in making your decision and make sure that these rabbits are living in ideal conditions beforehand. Alaska rabbits can also be found in pet shelters that have a supply of bunnies that were given up by people who couldn't take care of them well. You can check with local animal shelters, small animal rescue groups, and different rabbit care societies. Keeping your Alaska rabbit healthy. The breed is not known for having any breed-specific illnesses or conditions, but you should protect it from common rabbit ailments. Vaccinate against VHD and myxomatosis and treat regularly for worms, fleas, and other parasites. Monitor your rabbit's dental health. A rabbit's teeth continue to grow throughout their lives. If they do not naturally grind their teeth down, you will have to do it for them. Rabbits grind their teeth when gnawing on hay and leafy veggies. Breeding Before breeding any rabbits, you need to ensure that you have the room and the capability to keep any kittens that are produced. There are already a lot of unwanted rabbits, and they do not fetch a lot of money so are unlikely to yield a profit. As such, and bearing in mind a rabbit can have a litter of up to 14 kittens, although the average litter size is 7. The gestation period is between 4 and 5 weeks, and rabbits can breed from a very young age. The Alaska rabbit is a friendly, outgoing, and sociable breed. It has a beautiful black coat, is considered quite a chunky rabbit breed, and it will usually enjoy spending plenty of time with its human owner while also getting along with other rabbits and potentially even mixing with other animals in the house. While the breed might not be recognized by the Arbit anymore, it makes a very good pet and welcome addition to most homes. The Alaska rabbits are usually gentle and docile in nature. They are very calm and affectionate and can be great pets or show animals. They have well-tempered behavior and are relatively not aggressive. Despite having a bubbly, outgoing personality, these rabbits are very loving and love human companionship. Although it is a gentle breed, these rabbits can be skittish and they should not be cared for by young children. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.